All right, so we've explored some of the actions that we use. There are heaps more, but those ones will give you a really, really good start and they work for everything as well. After that, we're on to voice types and the two fun voice types that we play around with a lot, and you might have already done these two, were twang and cry. Okay, so twang is where we're really, 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 really nasally or all the way through the twaggy in the throat. And the one that I just get you to do most often is to pretend to be a wicked witch. So nye, 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 nye. and it's the nye sound that is making it really twangy and really nasally for you. So we will do our warm up. My dog is a good dog. Yes, he is. And try and think, is it coming through your nose? Is it really forward? My dog is a good dog. Yes, he is. You can tell by actually blocking your nose. And if the sound stops, then you're doing nasal twang. Cause he sits in bed, chases his tail all around the hall. My dog is a good dog. Yes, he is. <laughs> so it's just that sound of Nyeh. even the playground sort of sound that goes Nyeh, 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 nyeh. That is twang. That's what we're looking for in the first step of twang. There are lots of different things to do after that, but it's a really good one to practice.